Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here. Hopefully your favorite official content creator for the first Ascendant. And what I'm here to do today is I'm going to show you how drop rates work in this game. A lot of people are pretty confused about drop rates. Like for example, let's take a look at Freyna's piece. All right, a lot of Freyna is one of the first Ascendants that you guys will be farming for real. And if you take a look at Freyna and like, let's say her code or whatever, you have to go to a void fusion, re sorry, not the code. Uh, spiral Catalyst or whatever, you have to go to this particular mission, you've got a 20% chance of acquiring Freyna Spiral Catalyst, all right? And many people think that the 20% chance means that if I were to run this particular mission five times, you know, because 20% is one out of five, I'll show you how to figure all that out later, but if I run it five times, I'm definitely going to get a, sp a Spiral Catalyst within one of those five runs. That's not how probability works. Probability is that I've got a one in five chance each time I run the mission to get this particular item. So the problem for most people is that they could be running 20 runs and not getting it, or they could get it on their first run and never have to worry about it ever again. So what I'll aim to do in this video is show you guys how probability works through a little bit of mathematical modeling. Uh, I'm going to explain the principle and even do a little bit of a demonstration for how the random rolls can work so that you can understand how loot drops work across the board. Okay, so let's get into it right now. But before we do, before we do, one thing, if you haven't already chosen a content creator, please register me as your content creator. Link is in the description of this video. Pick me, hit that, all right? Become a supporter today. It would really help me out, but it's your choice. If you find me informative, do it. Or if you find yourself coming back to the channel all the time, yeah? Okay, now excuse any coughing. I'm still recovering slowly, but let's get into it. First and foremost, what you need to understand is the math. So let me pull up a window. All right, now this is a little setup that I have, like a little bit of a mathematical modeling setup that I have for you guys where I'm going to be doing it in an Excel spreadsheet. <coughs> but we need to understand the fractions first, right? So you can actually just search online for like, say, a uh, percent to fraction calculator, and you can just input any kind of drop rate in there. So let's just take a drop rate of, say, 5%, right? Let's input that right now. 5% calculate that is one out of 20. So you would need to roll a 20 sided dice and on a roll of one, you would get the drop you want, right? Same principle, 20% as the drop chance, right? That means you roll a five sided dice, one out of five on a roll of one, you get the item on a roll of two, three, four, or five, you don't get the item. Let's try and visualize this a little bit better. Okay. We're going to use Google's online dice roller right here. Okay. Let's say the drop chance is 25%. If you look at 25%, okay, now this is a simple model so that you can understand it. One out of four. So we just roll a D4 dice, okay? The, again, this is a simple model just to show you. Let's, let's roll this dice randomly now. And on a roll of one, on a roll of one, we'll get the item. How soon before we get the item? It could be the first attempt, it could be the 10th attempt. Let's try. The roll came up three. I did not get the item on my first attempt. Try again. Roll came up too. I still did not get the item. Ah, roll of one came up. So on my third attempt, all right, it didn't take me four attempts. It took me three attempts with this random dice, all right, to get the item I wanted. That's how probability works. Same thing applies. Same thing applies. We can do the same exercise again, okay? Let's say it's a one out of six. So the probability, uh, that's, a, that's a fractional number. Um, let's say a 10% chance, okay? One out of 10, right? So now we roll a 10 sided die. On a roll of one, I'll get the item I want. Okay, it'll be the secret garden nanotube. On any other roll, it's gonna be Ajax. Okay, let's go. Six, did not get the item. Four, did not get the item. <laughs> one, this time on the third roll. Now, I, I wish my luck in game was actually like this. Once again, on the third roll, I happen to get it. But if we were to repeat the same exercise, like let's just repeat the exercise and see how long before another one comes up. Okay. It took four rolls, you see, one, two, three, four, before another one came up. But if you were to repeat the exercise multiple times, this time there were one, two, three, four, five, six rolls, and none of them were one. Do you see how this works? This is how probability works. You're basically rolling a dice each time. You could get very lucky, like Star. She's actually in the background just, you know, doing her shenanigans because uh, I'm just <laughs> recording this in my Discord right now. Um, you could get very lucky and get get a roll of one, or you could be like me and just not get a roll of one. Is he? That's probability. So now, <laughs> let's do a more let's do a more uh, Excel based exercise. 
So we don't have to roll these random dice. You can actually do a roll for Freyna, but you have to use XL. So XL has a pretty interesting function, which I like to use during my accounting days. It's called ran between. So ran between basically means that it'll create a random number between two values. So I put between value one and value five. So one out of five, I put value one and five right there. As you can see, it'll roll a random number. Then what I do is I just drag the function <laughs> down 10 times and it'll roll like this. Person A, okay, assuming that we had 10 rolls, person A on their first roll managed to get Freyna, roll of one. On the next nine runs, they would not have gotten Freyna. Let's do the same exercise here again. Okay, now the values will change, unfortunately, because that's the way Excel is designed. But um, if you want to imprint the values, there's a different way to do it. But let's just delete person A for now. Okay, now we'll try for person B. Same function. I'm going to drag it down. Okay, 10 rolls. This person got a Freyna Spiral Catalyst on the first run, on the second run, on the sixth run, on the seventh run, on the ninth run. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to save the data values. You, if you actually just uh, paste the values only, it'll create something like this. So how you want to do this, if you want to have an actual Excel, you can have the rolls like that, right? Then you can do the rolling here and then paste the values into the person's actual table chart. So this was person B's chart. Let's roll for person A again. Let's see how lucky person A will be on the second time they roll for Freyna. Okay, this time around for person A, once again, we paste the values only. Person A got Freyna on their 8th run. So we can highlight the cells now. Alright. Let's highlight all the winning cells. So, like so. Can you tell I used to be an accountant? So for person B, they've gotten 5 pieces of Freyna. For person A, it took them 8 runs before they got Freyna's piece. Again, this is out of the so-called 5 runs. Because 20% doesn't mean that you're going to get it in 5 runs. You have to just keep rolling until your dice turns up with that 1 that gets you your piece. Alright. Once again, same thing. We do it for person. Uh, we do it for person D. So, in fact, I can just paste this here, and all of them will roll. So there you go. For person C, uh, it took them until the ninth run. Do you, do, you, do you see how all these people are having different uh, experiences? So for person uh, for person B, you know they got super lucky. They got all their frame of bits and pieces. You know, this person A took eight runs. This person C took nine runs. Let's see what person D will take. Person D, ah, this guy is another lucky one. All right, person D is uh, like star. So this person, <laughs> nerd, this person got one here, one there. And then now while not as lucky as person B, you know, they would have gotten Freyna on their first attempt. So person B and person D both got Freyna on their first attempt. For person A and C, they had to run eight or nine times before they even got Freyna's piece. This is it. This is how drop rates work, ladies and gents. So if you understand this, you can understand any drop rate in the game. The same thing applies. It applies no matter what you're trying to drop. Okay, here's an example. Let's now let's now see how long before all these persons. Okay, all these beautiful people. Okay, let's see how long before they get. Let's say the polymer. Uh, sorry, the nanotube for the secret garden. The nanotube for the secret garden is a 10% chance of dropping from an amorphous material. 1 out of 10 probability, right? So now we shift the ran between function. It goes between 1 and 10, okay? We're going to do 10 rolls each time, okay? And we're going to copy this function. Now, the rest of the functions have not changed yet, so we got to copy this function all the way down. So rolling for person A right now. Person A, within 10 runs, does not get the nanotube. Oops, sorry. I should have just copied the values directly. My apologies. Paste values only. Person A did not even get a one of the uh, nanotubes. All right, for the uh, secret garden. Let's try again for person B. For person B, aha! Look, person B got lucky. Gosh, star, how dare you be like this? Okay, so for person B, they managed to get the secret garden nanotube on the third attempt. But for the rest of the attempts, they flubbed. They got nothing. All right. So again, try again. One more time. Rolled. Ah, for person C. Unlike person A, poor BVS, he did not get anything. Person C is more like me. Person C got it on the 10th roll. All right. So it was pretty difficult. But person C managed to get one. All right. So after this many rolls, 
He got one. Now let's take a look at person D. Oh my god, person D, how could you be like this? Freaking arcane. Bro, look at how many look at how many person D just got. Person D just got arcane's level luck because look, his amorphous. Oops, so sorry. I'm doing that. Let me just recolor that properly. My bad. In 10 amorphous materials, this homie with a 10% chance has got all the nanotubes he ever needs. Look at that. So person A, unlucky. Nothing. Person C, probably more like me. Person B, kind of kind of more like stars distribution. Person D, got arcane's distribution. This is how it works. This is why some people can be like, oh yeah, it only took me like four hours to farm ultimate Valby. But then for somebody else, it could take ages and ages. This is the math behind drop rates. So, I hope you guys understand the drop rates in the game now. I hope this helps you guys understand, you know, why drop rates can seem so weird, so skewed. But the drop rates in the game are exactly as displayed. If they say there's a 10% drop rate, you just calculate the fraction and then you roll. You just keep rolling. You get 10 amorphous, you roll. You get 10 amorphous, you roll. You roll, 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 roll until you get what you need. Because the dice will favor you at some point. So don't give up. Don't give up. Is it a grind? Of course. But hey. It feels sweet when you finally get what you do need, all right? So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it helped teach you guys about probability. I'm going to go play some more right now. But thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content, if you enjoy what I do, if you like the fact that I present you with information that you can use, register as a supporter. Link is in the description of the video. I'd be very grateful to have you. Now, last but not least, I have one last thing to do, and that is to thank some of our... <coughs> excuse me top supporters so starting with the top channel members da -da, we have princess star track hoodie arcane silver 300 death donny 982 george tishan bvs fang i3xo nisk all right the first four are plus ultra the second four are only fan level which is the top tier thank you guys so much for this you guys are amazing i appreciate all you do for me okay thank you guys so much for being top tier channel members but that's not all we also have some people to thank in august Ta -da! All right, August top supporter list. Top tipper, Luke Greenfield, thank you so much. Top super chatter, RR Odyssey, you are the king this month, thank you so much. Top super chatter list includes Sebastian Lachance, George Tishon, uh, TX Panda King, Sir Tommy Gun, Death Donny 982, I3XO, Atomic John B, uh, Ted Wu, Phil the Mega Pint, BVS Fane, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. And our top channel membership gifter is TX Panda King, thank you so much for the gifted uh, memberships. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video, all right? Y'all have fun. Good luck with the drop rates.